I'm sharing with you today a very unique little project. If you already know, if you don't know, I'll tell you anyways. <laughs> uh, we are in the process of moving. And although I don't know what my craft room looks like yet, um, I'm planning for better organization and I've been decluttering. And so here is the little project that I'm looking forward to be taking with me and adding to my new craft room. I found one of those, I don't know what they're called, you know, those metal cases uh, for tools, for screws and nails and all that. You tend to be for workshop, you know, for, I don't know, I don't want to say guys tools because girls have tools too, but you know, you know what I mean. They're not made very pretty. But I guess they don't have to be, as long as they're functional. So I found this guy. It has 50 boxes, 50 of these little drawers. And uh, I got it for $3 at a yard sale this past weekend. And it's in excellent condition. I've already just kind of cleaned it <clears throat> and um, scrubbed it not the inside because that's the whole part i wanted to share with you um so far i spent a, a little time last night cleaning and washing all the drawers i took everything out and i uh, filled up the sink and just dumped them all in there and and gave them a good little rinse left them here overnight and they are all dry but I wanted to, I stopped there because I wanted to show you what this thing looked like. And, you know, I thought, well, I'm sure it comes apart. I had seen these little doohickeys right here, these little perforations on the back. I wasn't sure what those were. Uh, but last night I took one of these guys apart. And let me see, I can do it with one hand. Uh, yeah, so you just kind of bend it a little bit. I took this one out. I just kind of put it there uh, because I wanted you to see it. But this is what it looks like. Doesn't even have hooks at the end. So basically, it just kind of lines up. Uh, the top and the bottom uh, have this little lip that go in one direction. And this one goes in the opposite direction. And that's how the, the plastic... Uh, this little tab here there's one at the top and one at the bottom they kind of hooked and then you just slide this top part in this bottom part there's these little grooves there's a little groove here and there's a lip right here and you just tuck it underneath there um, oh there's a little lip here too and that's how they fit so uh, so far uh, this is how, uh, how much I've taken it apart. I will be taking these guys off. I'm gonna clean it really well. And of course, I'm going to spray paint it. Uh, the weather outside today is a little gloomy and a little drizzly, so it's not gonna work today. I need to wait for a, a you know, the sun and a bright day and a hot day so it will dry quickly. So I'm debating <clears throat> what color I'm going to spray paint it, but I know it's going to look super cute so i will uh you know keep sharing and add more to this video as i go get the paint do a little scrubbing a little sanding i will probably prime it and then spray paint it with some pretty color okay so this is how i take this little things out so i grab one of those little tabs right here and I push it to the left, or bend it, I should say, the, the middle part, and it just kind of snaps out. And then the same thing with the top one. And then once those come out, then you can just pull it out. So just kind of, maybe instead of saying bend it, flex it, flex it a little bit. Obviously you have to be careful 
the bottom one seems to go a lot faster than the second one and that's it so do the bottom one then the top one and then it slides out now let's see what happens here because this one's there's actually no uh the ends over here they don't have these little ridges so they're not even attached to anything it's just the top and the bottom so those were a lot faster that's it so now i'm just gonna clean this out and i'm probably gonna prime it with a rust-oleum primer just to make sure that uh, it won't rust because this is metal there's a tiny little bit right here other than that uh, this is the bottom so the bottom does have a little bit more rust um, so if i add the uh, primer it should stop this from rusting even more so let's see how that's gonna work out So the weather is a little bit better now so i i'm gonna go for it and just start painting i went to lowe's and got this pretty paint right here it's a satin and the color is peaceful blue and i chose this color because uh, all the boxes that are on my ikea unit uh, are this color so i'm kind of you know trying to stick with the same colors so I'm assuming it's going to be all blues in there. But before I paint, uh, oops, before I spray paint it, I'm going to put a primer. And this will stop any, uh, any more rust from being, uh, you know, from developing on the box itself. Uh, like I said, mainly it was on the underneath part of it. So I'm going to sand it lightly and then use the primer after it dries i will go ahead and do a coat of this but i won't show you that because i don't want to risk i don't want to have my phone uh near any of the spray paint because if the wind blows or shifts then uh, i don't want that so you know i used an old box to protect the area and kind of contain the spray um also the floor is when you spray it because if you're too close to it you might leave like a you know a really wet ring so you need to do it a little bit far so the paint sprays nice and evenly so i will go ahead and do that and like i said i won't be able to show you the actual spray painting but you get the gist of it right the first coat of primer is done it's looking pretty nice so next i'm gonna go for this pretty color so i will show you once i'm done it's looking so good i'm going to be done pretty soon i'm just letting it dry but the color came out so pretty it's a very light blue again it's going to match um all the boxes in my ikea I don't even know what that one is called. You know what I'm talking about. It's the one that has all the compartments on it. Everybody has one of those, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, I love it. It's just gonna dry and by tomorrow, I will be able to start filling in all those little uh, boxes, all those 50 little drawers with all my little, I don't know what, eph ephemera or buttons and i mean i have enough stuff to fill it in i know so i will show you once it's all dried up and then we'll put it back together okay i brought the case inside it dried overnight 
the inside is not 100% perfect. I can see a little bit of the white from the primer, but it's okay because I won't be able to see it anyways. It's gonna have all the little drawers, so that's fine. So I'm going to start putting this together. Oh my goodness, and some of these are still dirty, so I have to double check them before I put them in. Okay, so I've went through them. They're all nice and clean, and they're all the exact same, so really it doesn't matter uh, the order in which I put them because they're all exactly the same. So bending them a little bit. These are very flexible, so that kind of helps. So line up the groove at the bottom. I bend it, I find a groove right under, but what I'm gonna do is, I, I wanna have uh, enough room to put the one on the back. So I'm gonna put the one on the very uh, side and then leave this one for last. This one kind of goes behind this little wall, just the same as this one here. So it has to get behind there and that kind of gives you enough room for that. And now I'm gonna add the last one, line it up with a little notch. Oh, it's a little, um, I think it's a reinforcer for the corner. It's tucked inside here, so it kind of moves. So I just have to put it back in. that's it they're all in now I can just put the little drawers in there are little dividers for each of the drawers there's this little groups inside uh, the little drawer and you can put dividers and I do have those but at this time I'm gonna try and just leave them like that because I think I'm gonna need all the the space for all my ephemera pieces and everything else. But the option is there in case I need it. I'll probably put some little felt pieces, a little feet underneath it. Um, it's a little wobbly, but I, th I think that's gonna fix the problem and it's just gonna it's not like I'm going to move the piece, but just in case. I think I put this one upside down. I did. So when you put these in, the little notches right here, um, they need to go upside down because that's what kind of holds the drawers go in and grabbed, grab on that little lip right there. all done I'm so happy how it turned out the color is very pretty it looks a little bright but it's a very subtle and grayish uh, blue and again it's going to match with the other pieces that I have the other boxes so 50 little drawers all together for three dollars plus let's just say you know three bucks for the paint not bad at all. I am so excited. I can't wait to fill it up with all my goodies. And uh, I'll show you once um, once I get it going. I don't know, maybe it might be a separate uh, 
a separate video on how I'm going to organize my stuff and where it's going to go in my room. Uh, but obviously, I don't have a room yet for it. No scrapbook room yet. But I'm hopeful that uh, I will find a very nice place for it. I'm actually recording this video many months later after we actually moved into our new house and my craft room is completely done. There is a video where I share how I have organized my room and showed you every little detail uh, of my happy place. And I'm finishing now, finally, this video. The new updates is that this is the one that I was painting. I ended up getting a second one from my husband because um, I bought several of these pieces from the same person and I offer them to him. I, I really bought them for him and I ended up deciding to keep one for me. But then he said that he only needed, I think, two. And so I ended up with an extra one. And I'm very, very happy because it gives me so much space to hold all kinds of goodies. I haven't finished organizing them. Uh, what I've done is I just, any little bits and pieces that I find, I put them in there. And then uh, I think eventually I will probably maybe add labels in front of each of the little boxes uh, so that I know what's in them. But all I have to do really is just kind of look through and I can see what is inside. Uh, depends on what I'm looking for. So that's how they turn out. I really love them. There's plenty of space. All of these are empty. There's a few boxes in here that are empty. And I have another box that's almost falling apart that uh, holds a lot of these little wooden uh, letters and wooden um, little pieces that I can use on my junk journals. And I'm considering uh, putting those in here. But we'll see. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you give it a try and maybe paint a couple of these for your own craft room uh, to your liking. I think they turn out great. And for the price, I just couldn't beat it. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, have a great crafting day. Until next time, see you later.